Well, hi everyone. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. This is not a Lewis Rossman rant video. You clicked on a John Audio Tech video. So let's begin. All right. So it's time to finish the Phono Preamp project. So if you watched the other video with the Elliott Sound Product Phono Preamp little kit here, it's really just the board and you have to supply your own components. So I want to put it in a box. So I got a metal box because being a phono preamp, it's uh, fairly high impedance input plus it's pretty high gain. So you re really want to uh, shield it so the metal box will take care of that. And I need to make a power supply for it. So uh, design and make that. And I got some connectors, eBay specials here, Chino specials. Oh, I'm getting a charge the battery warning, so I'm going to have to press the button here and come back. Uh, will these things be any good? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I plugged the camcorder into shore power here so I can keep going. Got a little barrel jacks for power, a clicky switch. That's well, louder than I expected. It's not really a soft touch. Oh well. Radio Shack had the nice soft touch ones. Wonder how long this will last. I have a little rocker switch on my amp I made. And the uh, contacts are already welded. And it, you can't turn it off. Then that's what you get. Anyhow... Uh, I want to power this with either batteries or just plug in a wall wart. Not using a true dual supply, so I'm kind of making a virtual one. Using the resistor dividers and capacitors. I want to have a LED on there, like a bright blue one. A high efficiency blue one with a 10K, so it doesn't draw too much extra power. And that will warn me that, you know, if I'm on batteries, to turn the thing off when I'm done. I'll see that it's on. Um, yeah, so power comes in. We have a switch. We have a diode here. A Schottky diode. That's just in case somebody hooks, plugs this in uh, backwards. You know, inverted polarity. Some of those wall warts are. That way you won't damage anything. And well, that's pretty much it. On the other side here, we have the... If we reference this as common, this will be negative. And of course, this will be positive. So let me get this built and laid out on the board and uh, start building out our little, our, uh, little photo preamp here. Here's what I've gotten done so far. Got the little power supply board thingy made here. Marked out where I'm going to drill holes for the connectors and switch and a LED. Yeah, this thing's going to look kind of industrial being just cast aluminum. I'm not going to paint it or anything. Yeah, I don't really need that. Inside, I put a piece of acrylic using strong double sided tape because I'm just going to hot melt. The components down in there, so I need an insulating layer. Kind of what I've done with my Lucite Cube amplifier I made many, many years ago. It's just hot melted inside. This thing's all glued shut. So if anything goes wrong with it, well, not much I can do. But, you know, these really ha rarely have a problem. And I don't suspect this thing would have any issues either. So I will go ahead and finish building this and soldering all the wires and everything up and come back with a finished product. Okay, it's all assembled. Slight rat's nest look inside. First problem is these little feet. That one doesn't want to stay on there. Must be grease or something. 
So I shall hook up this nine volt battery. That's right, it's a battery. I'll put that in there, I hope it fits. Oh, it's not fitting. Oh, there we go. Don't worry about the sockets, they're all different sizes. And uh, looks like it's off. There we go. Well, the LED light works. Not much. What I want to do is uh, I'm going to get a current measurement. See what it's drawing. 20, 22 milliamps. That's about right. The LED is drawing a couple milliamps. So yeah, that's a bit much for a 9-volt battery to last very long, but this is just testing. So the next question is, does it actually work? I did take some voltage measurements, and it seems like everything's working. I, before gluing this in, I did, I did check it and found that I left off a jumper. I'm glad I checked it, because <laughs> now that it's in there, it'd be hard to get out. Okay, the last thing I need to do is solder on new RCA connectors because the old ones were bad shape and making poor connections. So right is red. So hopefully that matches up. German engineering here with a dual, dual turntable. The lid won't stay open. That's nice. At least we know it has good transient abilities, according to our microacoustics record here. For the signal coming out of the cartridge to accurately reproduce the one recorded in the studio, your cartridge must have transient ability Ooh, as transient well as ability. ability. Whoa, he's shooting at me. Where's the short at in his wire? Maybe it's this thing. Annoying. From the crash of a gong to the attack of an organ note to the bite of a plucked string, music is mostly transients. As the oscillograms on our record Ooh, jacket... Ooh, transients. Oh, this thing's no good. That's going to do it for the phono preamp project. It's in the case and working just fine. You play the guitar on the MTV. Yeah, you play that guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. That's the way you do it. All right. I guess we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.